Okay, Lee, uh, score-wise a difficult one this evening, um, coming away 5-2 defeat to Hamworthy, but um, a very, very youthful, very, very youthful side this evening, um, with a lot of, you know, of our academy graduates coming down with us and some key first-team players unavailable. What was your thoughts on the game as a whole? Um, like obviously, we were out of it before we were in it. Um, the journey down wasn't the best. The, the weather was um, was against us in terms of getting her in decent time. I think there was a few accidents on the way, so we didn't get her until just after seven. Um, for a quarter eight kickoff, is always pushing it tight, especially when you're coming to a to a different type of surface as well. It's always nice to have a bit of a you know a, a, a sizable warm up or a time warm up on these sort of things like that. And then before we knew it, we were a couple of goals going down the game, so leaving yourself up a uh, hill to climb. Absolutely, and to be honest with you, we, we said it on commentary during the game. I think in any game of football, that was one of the most sort of ruthless 15-minute periods seen from a side. I mean, to be fair, Hamworthy, they're, they're a team doing very well at the top of the table, and as you say, maybe the sort of preparation in terms of getting the players up for this one, it was like you said, the game was almost over. But let's let's talk about the, the youth that came on this evening. Obviously, the second half performance, you know, defensively, we, we tightened up a lot, and then obviously Luco coming on, Regan and Will. So for those two to get a goal and, and Regan playing a big part in the goal must be must be pleasing for you as, as a manager to have to have those options coming off the bench. Yeah, from the start in terms of um, the, the youngsters that started the game, like Harry Lucas is 17 and Harry Turney 17, are two like players that will have an outstanding future. And you've got like people like Jaden Nilsson and that that's not not not, not much older, older either. So he, yeah, I think the youthfulness of the side, the average age is good. Um, then the players coming off the bench. Obviously, the second half we. Uh, well, we just like you know, we, it was like those situations. It's probably easy to play at four 0 down, but you like it was good to sh get a bit of pride back into it. Um, in terms of the, the goals, yeah, I think um, obviously uh, Luko's taken his goal from the ring. I think Regan's chased the, the lad down, and he's, 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 he's chased the ball from Luko. He's, he, he's finished out with confidence. But I think then in the second, yeah, the second goal was I think that something like with, with Regan and Luko's word the player into a mistake, and then the ball's been put across the face. And well, um, Will Gallagher's uh, scored his second goal of the season, so it shows that the club's in a good place with players coming through. We might have to look more into that uh, over the next couple of weeks based on availability of players and injuries and suspensions. But well, like again, we're, we're in a tough place at the moment. Is is not getting any, any easier, and is a probably even a tougher task coming to us on Saturday because Wimbledon is a proper side, proper people um, connected to the club, and we know that we uh, we are going to be after improve greatly to, to try and give them a game but that we know that we we can on our given day we know that we're as good a side as most in this division and I, I, I would always back us to to get a run going in a minute and get ourselves away from trouble.